morning. Brent Abel here, Web Tennis Players Workshop. And you know, one of my favorite drills is a simple accuracy drill where uh, it's something that I call cans. And my good friend Bill Mays and I used to do this just over and over. And we actually did it where these are these are cones, but you know, we would get little tennis cans. Uh, with with uh, tennis balls in them, and we would actually place them pretty closer to the baseline. But for today's drill, what I want you to do is, you know, either get some tennis cans with balls, or you could put a racket cover out here. Um, I like the cans because when you hit it, you know, it kind of explodes. It's kind of fun. It's 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 kind of dramatic. Uh, but you know, put it right in the middle of this quadrant of the court. So what we're to do is we're to divide the court up into quarters, and we're You've got sort of an imaginary line that uh, you know starts here at the T and ends up here at the uh, at the baseline center mark, and you know so this is going to be one quadrant. Let's say that we're working on you know going from ad court to ad court, and so place your can or your cone or whatever you've got right in the center of that quadrant, and all that you're going to do today is. First of all, grab a practice partner who will do this this drill with you for 30 minutes. And all that you're going to do is find a speed, a shot speed. You know, we're talking, it's not power. It's really kind of a slow, um, it's kind of a slow speed where you, as player number one, can consistently control your shot. Whether that's a forehand or backhand, it doesn't matter. But you've got to be able to try to get it in the middle of this quadrant of your practice partner's court. And I think what you're going to find is that to be accurate is that the two of you are really going to have to slow down the ball speed. If you think power it off, you think about really trying to add a little bit of zip to your shots, what's going to happen is you're going to be very inaccurate with your shot placement. You know, once you can get this going to where you and your partner, let's say you go for five or seven minutes, five to seven minutes going cross court to the ad side, you know, then go ahead and switch it up and, you know, we're, go ahead and move those targets uh, over to the over over to the do side. And, you know, again, you're going to find that, that you're probably a little bit more accurate on either your forehand or backhand. doesn't matter. But the key here is to find what's the ball speed that you have to hit your shots at to where you can really be consistently accurate with placing your shot you know, to, this, to this target. So get out there today, grab that practice partner, do this drill at least twice a week. You need 30 minutes, and, and, and you know, you're going to find that you know, once you find that, that ball speed that you can be accurate at, that becomes your kind of baseline in terms of power. And you want to transfer this into matches. If you really want to improve your skill level, you've got to think accuracy first. And once you develop that accuracy, the power, if you need it, is eventually going to be there. All right? Hope this has helped. Any questions, right below in the comments area. Let me know. Have a great day out there.